Today, I'm going to be going through the process of upgrading my Netgear Nighthawk X10 R9000 from EDWRT version build R36527 to version R40559. Let's get started. First, I would go to the dd-wrt.com website, select router database. I would in put in my router version number and I would select the build which is 40559 there are two files um, an image file and a bin file if you're upgrading directly from the factory netgear firmware to the DDWRT you would need both the image and the bin file but in our case we are just upgrading um, our current firmware, DDWRT firmware, to the 40559, so I would only need the bin file. I have already downloaded the bin file and saved it to my computer, um, as you can see it right here. So let's begin the actual upgrade process. So I'm going to log into my router. As you can see, I'm running version build R36527. I'm going to go to administration. I would have to put in my password, my username and password. I would select firmware upgrade. Before I actually do a firmware upgrade, as a best practice, it is recommended that you perform a backup of the router if you have already did any sort of a configuration. But if you have not done any configuration to the router as yet, and this is a brand new router, there is no need for a backup, so we would just go to the firmware upgrade tab and we would select our bin file and we would upgrade, select upgrade. This process normally takes between one to two minutes, so I am going to just set my um, continuous ping running here just to verify that the server or the actual router, sorry comes back up and is responsive. So right now it's done the upgrade successful already. It's already pushed the bin image file to the router. My router is actually rebooting right now. As you can see, um, it lost connectivity for a few minutes, for a little while. You can pause the video here and once the router comes back up, um, I would fast forward things. As you can see now, it takes less than uh, a minute. <laughs> it's a few seconds and I am just waiting for a few minutes, a few seconds again, just to confirm that it is all up and running. So I would just click continue. And as you can verify and validate now, we are on the newer version build, R40559. That's all for this video and I would like to thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and share and I would see you in the next video.